Hey kids, Inverticow here. Welcome back to Autonauts. Um, beside me you will see that we have unlocked the vehicle assembly unit and we just unlocked the next level of housing for our little happy people here. The stone cottage. So we're going to order one. I don't know what we need above and beyond that. So we're just going to order one for now. And we're going to let that run. Uh, the vehicle assembly unit requires uh, floors and walls. And also I'm ordering a new wood shaping bench because I need advanced or the, uh, the next level wheels. There's another wheel upgrade that comes off of these wood shaping benches and I don't want to just change uh, change benches. I also have window and door frames that I'm guessing are going to have to be made. Now I don't know if these are something I will constantly have to make or not, so I'm letting those go. But I figured since we just unlocked this little thing, we would bring this in and see what happens. Now RV, I bet you I am with outside of range of that here, so we'll just go up here that up and F it. Yeah, we're just outside of range. We'll just bring that down a bit. There we go. The other thing we have also unlocked is bridges and roads. Now, I still don't have triangle frames yet. Um... I believe triangle frames are made at the structural workbench, which I need construction technology done, which is the level four. This is a higher level in research than what I am currently working on. It's kind of weird that it would have a level four technology research needed to build things that I unlock in level three, but that's okay, I'm, uh, we can deal with that. In order for me to unlock this, of course, I have to upgrade the, uh, the research table again. But right now we're working on forestry and poultry farming. Uh, the only thing left after that is brickworks and leisure and cooking. So I got these three in level three stuff here and then I'm into the level four. Um, and I think in the level four, I'm going to unlock this one first, of course, but I also want to unlock the metal tools and the metal technology early on. These I will probably need for, um, well, I will need all of these unlocked. So, <clears throat> That's where we're at, so I figured I'd bring you back in so you can see the building of the stone cottage and what's involved and what I will get when I throw a uh, uh, peon in here because I have a feeling they're going to require something else. So what does this need? Some more planks. I don't want to be patient. I want this built. does it need? A chimney and a fireplace. Okay, now we're going to have to go figure those out. We'll dump these off here. And we will check what do we need to make a chimney and fireplace. I have a feeling that might be something I have not unlocked yet. Um, chimney and fireplace. Here we go. This is made in a masonry bench with stone and mortar. Mortar is the level three construction research. The construction research is the one that I'm not working on, which requires sand. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick here is I'm going to grab a bucket. I need to seriously consider getting a 
robot to start picking up sand. I had to double up my water production here because these guys were lagging behind. Um, I was locking up on like my second or third pot here and it wasn't getting done. So, so now we'll just come back over here and I want to access this work table. Cancel that research. Click on this and we're going to go Brickworks. Put that sand in there. And you'll notice there is a couple of spare parts hanging out here. I changed the two um, research table guys with the new bodies so they can actually pick up this colonist wove. Uh, they can pick up two or three pieces of it now. Uh, as the level one guys were actually struggling to pick up one piece. So I figure I still got all these extra layers to, to go. These pieces might get big, big enough that I need a wheelbarrow to pick them up. So, which is why I'm trying to figure out the vehicle assembly. Haha. <laughs> see what I need. Okay, so this is good. Let's take, uh, move. this, move that over here, actually I'm going to put that over here, pick this up and we'll put that on there, and then we'll do an area move, move the whole thing over and back one because I need to put walls around it, go to walls and how am I on stone? Stone is full again? Okay. Windows and doors. Yeah, that's... Could be interesting. Put a there and a there. So, so I need this research done before I can um, get the next level done. So there's always research to be done. Oh, why am I doing this? You. Come here. bad you build helpers for you and then you just do all the work yourself anyway okay, so what is the mortar research need? so the mortar research has to do a little bit more love so I'm gonna pause here until I get this um, built so I'll be right back okay we're back uh, we've got the walls built around this thing, so let's have a look at what this thing can do. We have a crude wear barrel. Control plus left click equals take control. Control plus right click is release control. Okay. So we're going to order one just because I want to see what the heck it is. So we have square frame, crude wheel, crude axle, and a two poles. Two. Plus left click. Take control of the wheelbarrow. Cool. So 
wheelbarrow can hold up to 20 of an item. to empty the wheelbarrow. Uh, is there a way to empty the wheelbarrow in at all? I guess not, eh? You have to to empty the wheelbarrow once you've got it filled you still have to manually uh, load or unload it but this holds 20 items so what does that crude bird hold? Well, box frames oh I nerds don't build these build the wheelbarrows that's fine Okay, helper, come here. We're going to experiment. First, scratch your inventory. Um, what do I want you to do? I want you to pick up something. I need something I have a lot of that I don't really care about. I know what I want you to do. Okay, here. Come over here. Find your screwed wheelbarrow. Engage screwed wheelbarrow. Move over here. Disengage screwed wheelbarrow. Take that off. Pick up this. Find screwed wheelbarrow. Round screwed wheelbarrow. Repeat until question mark full, question mark being crude wheelbarrow. So he doesn't have enough memory to do that, but he should have enough memory to fill this wheelbarrow. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to stop this. I'm going to pick up this wheelbarrow. I'm going to move this wheelbarrow back over here into this search area. Move away, and I'm going to play and see if he does this correctly. Find the wheelbarrow. Move over here, disengage, fill it up with tree seeds. That's how you get him to pick stuff up and load the wheelbarrow. Now, obviously, you're going to need 
a lot more memory if you're going to get him to move the wheelbarrow, pick up everything, fill the wheelbarrow, and then move the wheelbarrow back. But what you could probably do is have one bot on the cart go to an area, go to an area where something is being produced, move that to an area where something is being used, and then have bots unload this wheel, this inventory. So that's a good thing. Dump this crap off. Move this back over here. No, oh, wait, I have a better idea. Um, See. You're gonna make me a bread? Waiting for splats. I will be waiting for oatmeal again. Watery porridge, fruit flour, yeah. Got the fruit flour. Oh, hey, these guys are getting out of control again. pick up one rock, but I can put five rocks in the wheelbarrow. And I can still move the wheelbarrow faster than I can walking with one rock. to see some potential uses for this, especially when it comes to quarrying these large stones, which is obviously something that's going to be coming up here shortly. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to need a large number of these because they don't seem to actually wear out, so this is something I could probably just do. Um, I've got a spare drive body. So what I'll do is I'm going to make up a bot for building with sand. Maybe. Oops. B, B, sand. Cord. Pick up a crude bucket. Okay, and pause for a second. I need to place a blueprint that needs sand, like these roads. Blueprints. Find blueprint. Add to blueprint. Okay, so this we need to do until hands empty.
come up here and hang out with the rest of the chickens. Put a forever. Target. Select structure. Select builders. Select OK. Control the hands. Okay. Hopefully that should work. Ah, here, have a bucket. And give her a heck. Yes, it's not the fastest way to collect sand, but that's okay, because I will probably do is head up another one that will just literally go pick up sand and bring it over here and put it in a pile. Um, or fill a wheelbarrow full of sand kind of thing, I don't know. Um, actually, I wonder if I can even do that. There's a question. Oh, hurry up, bucket guy. You have an impatient cow. Wait, hurry up. I'm gonna store this. I'm gonna have empty hands to engage the bucket. Okay, come over here. Oh, I got a bucket over the ground over here anyway. Oh, that's fine. Now I got a spare in my pocket. Bring this over here. And unload. Pick up this. I can store the bucket of sand, but I can't. Hmm. Okay. I can store the bucket of sand, but I can't store the sand itself. Interesting to note. So buckets of inventory can be stored, but not the inventory itself. Oh good, you guys have caught up on water again. <clears throat> Seems to have regenerated that bucket. Pick up a bucket of sand. And it really does look like it actually regenerated that bucket when I carried it over. So there's a potential bug. Um, take that bucket out, it comes back empty, but it comes back in good condition. Hmm. Maybe I'll get somebody to eventually share this video with the devs and they can see if that's actually a bug or a feature. <laughs> yeah. Can you upgrade this stone track? off that spare bucket and that spare bucket ah, so we have figured stuff out stuff and things and we're just waiting for Colin as well Food. 
which is waiting for clay pots. Did our clay guy get stuck again? I actually had this charge bot run out of charge while recharging the clay guy. It's uh, annoying. It's funny, but it's also annoying. Okay, what's going on with you? Stop, record. Okay, I figured that putting that fail in there would mess him up. The only food being produced is the bread, which is very slow. else with this stone cottage until I unlock the uh, masonry thing and that's another 2,000 20,000 yeah and it's about 50 24 yeah so 20,000 wove away so I need 20 more uh, of the colonists here to, to poop out so that's going to take a while to unlock. So thanks all for watching, kids. I'll see you on the next episode where maybe we will continue to figure out what to do next. Hope you enjoy, and good night for now.